days. We thank you that you have chosen us for this generation. And whilst we mess up and whilst we go oops and, and, and we don't always get it right, Father, I thank you that your Son is the Redeemer. And Lord, your plan is to redeem everything. Whether we've done it, whether prior generations have done it, you know, Lord, you're just the power of the Redeemer. And Father, I, I release that amongst every life in this place. That the power of Jesus Christ as the Redeemer will flow in and through every one of us. The Lord, you, you will come and do your will and your way in us. But redeem the years, restore the years. Renew us, Lord, in this day that we would be the hope of your calling. The Father, you will do in us first before you do through us. Your word says judgment begins at the house of the Lord. And Father, I'd rather go through a judging and purification and, 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 and protocol down here than I want to face you on that day as the judge of all the world. And so, Lord, again, I pray that you'd come and have your way in this meeting. I welcome the whole realm of heaven into this place. Come do all that the Father's commanded. The Lord, the fruit, even of last night and this morning, Lord, will be, will be a hundredfold what the enemy planned, Lord. That you redeem the, all of this stuff. That, Father, that you, we learn lessons now ahead of the outpouring so we don't lose it then. That you'll purify us now so, so before we meet you face to face. But, Lord, I pray again that you'll give, grant us that day of visitation with you that, jo that Daniel had, that Abraham had, that, that, that Gideon had, that, that Joshua had, that Moses had, Lord. These men of old, these heroes of the faith, Lord, we want the same. If you did it for them, we're pleading for it. Right now, Lord, in this place, in our lives, it, so that we are changed into your likeness, Lord, in a radical way. You who are visiting people in Muslim worlds and, 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 and drawing them to yourself, come here, I pray. Come meet us. As we still our spirits and our souls, as we lay aside things, Lord, that, that we've been doing for that season. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord. We honour you as you honour us with your presence. You are welcome in this place. Mm. Holy Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. One of the um, things we've just been talking about over lunch, I, I want to put into picture form, really sum this up, okay? This, 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 is, this, this is for business, this is for leadership, this is for mission stations overseas, it's for every single one of us. It's about the wineskin. It's about the wineskin. And that, in this whole course, I'm constantly referring to the wineskin as us, as our lives. But it's a church too, it's a mission, it's, a, it's international mission stations, it's, it, it's even Christian business. It's a new wineskin that's needed. There's a new, to, in order for us to receive the double, We've got to have a new container. That's really the essence of that picture of the sieve and the pot. The pot, it can hold more. We were just, we were just using one there with that pipe that's got the beads in it. Sounds like water. You know, if you put, this is Solomon's temple. It's what happened in the old roof. We put structure inside the church that restricted the flow of the spirit to, till it quenched it. Where on a pipe, and I've stood by the Alaskan Highway Pipeline, they put the structure outside the pipe so that it holds more pressure, more oil, more anointing, so it doesn't flow out, leak like the sieve, but it doesn't control and restrict the flow of the Spirit either. In fact, it aids it. And, and in business, and, and in churches, in mission, and, and, and in our own lives, 
this issue of us letting go is an issue of control. The I will. But when we take the I will out of us, around us are the arms of a loving Father that allow us to contain more. Yes. Got it? Yes. And, and, so, and so the pipe, the church, needs structure around it its own people and those international, the itinerants of the world, that's what we're here for, is to come in and add structure and support in areas where the church needs it, but not restrict the flow. You don't have the, str you don't have the, the support, it, the pipe will break. If you don't have the structure right in a church, if you don't have a structure right in a business, if we don't have the structure in our own lives right, the wineskin will burst. I said an example, I, I just had this revelation while we were talking. I said, I said the fact that I love Johnny Melbourne, the fact he stood down, the, the fact that Joseph Prince's forerunner stepped down and gave, and gave them the permit, you know, the role, was not them removing from, the, from their post of duty. Moses is dead. Moses died, you can read it, I'm right there now. It's, it's this seasonal transition that's taking place. It says, on the same day the Lord said to Moses, go up and you'll see the land from a distance, but you will not enter it. And, and God killed Moses. The New Testament says there was a conflict. Satan disputed with Michael over the body of Moses. That's all written in the Testament of Moses, a Jewish book. That whole confrontation. It's not scripture, but hey, we read so much else, you might as well read something written by the person who did it. Kind of figure he was there. You know, that somebody did, Moses didn't write it, somebody wrote it after Moses' death that was there. It's Moses' life testament. And, and so Mo, Mo, Moses dies. There's, I said it, yeah, I think it was yesterday in the school, there, there's this transition. That there are foot, there are the prior generation that are dying off. That they they've left their post of duty. Oral Roberts, Billy Graham, these great men of God of great anointing have passed the baton on. John Sanford, my spiritual father on inner healing, has passed the baton on to his two sons. One's got the prophecy. One's got the inner healing. Why? Right. It's a new generation. So John didn't step down or deny his, 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 his authority. He handed it over. It's a new, new day, new generation. That process is going on all over the world. And will continue to do it. As churches embrace the new, that, you know, they run, Moses ran his race. I, I have no clue what it must have been like to have led that rebellious people all the way for 40 whole years around the wilderness. And only, struck, only got it wrong once. I'd have probably killed them all on the first day. In fact, when, when God turns up in the, uh, the first 11 days, when they get to the promised land the first time, God says, I'm going to kill them all. And Moses pleads and says, no, don't do that. These are your people. So God said, okay, I won't kill them quickly. I'll kill them slowly. <laughs> in order to let a new generation arise. My unhealed nature... If God had come to me and I'd been in Moses' shoes, this tells you how far he'd, trained, he'd, he'd been turned around and healed in 40 years. My, my, my mentality would have been, look, 11 days with this lot's enough. If you're going to kill them quickly, can I help? Can I give you a hand? You know, it, it, it's... But, but his season is over. He spent 40 years in God's presence. Enoch walked with God for 300 years. So one day, heaven was closer than earth, and God said, come back to my place. And he was no more. Now, what does that tell you? He's just a forerunner. The, the secret things, remember, in fact, if you go back a couple of verses, we're going to get stuck in Deuteronomy, by the way, so you might as well go there. <laughs> For those of you listening to that on CD, that was not someone falling apart, being shredded by the Holy Spirit, it was just a bag. <laughs> cool. You're the quiet one in the family, aren't you? <laughs> Deuteronomy 29. I want to pick out two verses, then we're going to get stuck into this. 
He's gone 40 years around the wilderness. He's, he's been in God's presence. In